third time's a charm, I guess, huh? And uh, so if uh, something must be wrong with my phone. And that's the reason why it wasn't doing well. Uh, so, hey, maybe I get to buy a new phone. That would be kind of fun. Uh, but uh, just wanted to, to give you an update again for the third time today, uh, trying to get that all squared away. Uh, Chet came by the office uh, yesterday, and he said, we are between two to four weeks out from starting the construction on the, uh, the handicap um, wheelchair lift, uh, taking out the bathrooms that are up here and taking out the kitchen and putting in the bathrooms in there. So we're still two to four weeks out from that. And uh, one of the things I was saying this morning is, so during that time of construction, just know that it's time of construction. So that means that there's gonna be a mess. It means there's gonna be dirt. That means there's gonna be dust. That means there's gonna be so much stuff going around. Uh, and uh, they'll be in here working all week long for however long it's gonna be, I don't know. Um, so with that being said, we're just asking that you be patient once, the, uh, once it starts uh, because you're going to walk in and glass is going to be dirty. There's going to be dust on the pews, on the piano, whatever the case may be. But under construction, so just be, be patient about that. Um, Chet said he was also going to contact uh, the place up in Tupelo for the wheelchair lift to tell them that we are moving forward with that and uh, how long out it's going to take them before they get one so that we can start putting that in. But that also means uh, the bathrooms that are right down this hall are not going to be used when the construction starts. So if you need to use the restroom, you have to go to the fellowship hall. Now, once these bathrooms and, the, and everything is done, then the fellowship bathroom is the one that's going to be done next. So then you have to come back down to this hall to use the restroom when that starts. But... That's all part of the process, and we're excited to do it. Um, uh, we sent out a poll this morning uh, asking if we send out too many notifications or is it just enough. The vast majority so far said that it's just right, so that's good. Um, uh, but that being said, like I know that on Monday mornings, and this is the way it's been. I've been talking to Samantha about this for weeks now, um, uh, that – once you get the push notification that there's prayer requests, other people are going, oh, I forgot to add this person or talk to this person or, or whatever. So we're going to, on Mondays, just right before noon, put out one push notification with all the prayer requests that we received. Now, that being said, later on, I mean, if there's, you know, Tuesday comes around, Wednesday, you need a prayer concern, you need it pushed, we're absolutely going to do it. Uh, we'll absolutely put it out there so that people can see it. But just on Monday mornings, we're going to just do one. And, uh, and that's going to be usually be a long list of, of all the people that are in it. Um, this Saturday is the church cleanup. And uh, we've already started making preparations for that, uh, getting some of the cleaning supplies, trash bags, all sorts of stuff. Uh, we don't have that many people signed up, but I know that you're going to show up. I know that you're going to come in and you're going to help, and we are cleaning house, all right? There's a lot of stuff in here that just has not been used in years that need to be gone, and uh, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to clean this place up, make it look good, um, get rid of a lot of the stuff that's not used. So we need your help to do that, and there's going to be food that's going to be provided as well. So there we go. Um Let's see. Oh, uh, volunteers. Uh, we still have vol volunteer sheets down there that, that need to be filled. Uh, we've got, you know, if you look at just on Sunday mornings, uh, we still need people to sign up to do communion. We need people to be in the nursery and in children's church. Three things. Now, the vast majority of times when stuff like this happens, it's the same people who sign up to do those things over and over and over again. We're looking for new people. And I've said this, and I, I tell people this all the time if no one is signed up to be in the nursery we're not having nursery if someone's not doing children's church we're not doing children's church if someone doesn't sign up to do communion as much as it pains me we're not doing communion and i hate that but it's what we got to do we got to do this together this place works because of you because of of your volunteering because of your enthusiasm because all of those things. Someone mentioned that sometimes they get frustrated uh, because 
it's the same people doing the same thing over and over again or it, and people aren't putting forth the effort and all sorts of things. And, and I said to that person about being frustrated, I said, it's a good thing that you're frustrated because that shows that you're committed and you care. Hope you are too. Hope that you're committed and you care and you want to be a part of this family. First Chronicles, finish that for Sunday, and I will see you then. Love you guys. Love you with all my heart. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.